today, although it's not as nice as it was yesterday, but yesterday wasn't quite as good as last weekend. But then I don't do very much on weekends, except, of course, this weekend, which, as you know, is my birthday, and that's why I'm off to the village this morning to make sure everyone is coming to my birthday party. Uh, where are you going today? Mind your own business. On Tuesday, she met Mr. Noisy. He was in his garden singing. Noisily, of course. Wednesday, Little Miss Bossy met Miss Sunshine, and Miss Sunshine was wearing a beautiful smile as usual. What a beautiful hat you're wearing, Miss Bossy. Is it a new one? It does suit you. Miss Sunshine smiled a great big smile. Shut up and take that stupid smile off your face, you silly twerp. Well, as you can imagine, Little Miss Bossy wasn't very popular. Now, little did Miss Bossy realize, but somebody had seen her bossing Mr. Chatterbox around. And that same somebody had seen her bossing Mr. Noisy around. And that self-same somebody had seen her bossing Miss Sunshine around. And that self-same somebody was the wizard. He walked home, thinking deeply. Yes, uh, um, uh, something really ought to be done about Miss Bossy. When the wizard arrived home, he went straight to his library and took down a large red book from the bookshelf. It was more than a little dusty, as it hadn't been read for some time. <laughs> now, let's see now. Uh, yes, uh, um, uh, where is that spell I need? He turned to page 304. The title of the chapter he had chosen began, How to Stop People from Being Bossy. How to stop people from being bossy. Yes, yes, that's it. The wizard read every page very carefully. The day after, which was Thursday, little Miss Bossy met someone who was fast asleep. Yes, as usual, Mr. Lazy. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Hey, what's up? What's up, huh? Who wants me? Uh, oh, it's you, Miss Bossy. Oh, I was having such a nice dream. Behind Miss Bossy, the wizard, who had been following her, said something too, under his breath. Look at Sam. A wizardly word he'd learned from page 304. And do you know what happened? Suddenly, as if by magic, which is true, there appeared on Miss Bossy's feet... A pair of boots. Miss Bossy looked down in alarm. They were magic boots. And being magic boots, they could speak to each other. Hello, left. Hello, right. Ready when you are. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. And they set off. Right, right. Left. Stop right. Stop left. it, you two. Right. Now look left. here. Right. Faster and faster. Stop marching poor you. little Miss Bossy along. Stop this foolishness. Little Miss Bossy couldn't Stop. do a thing Stop. about it. <laughs> well done, wizard. The wizard winked a wizardly wink. Those boots marched I Little Miss Bossy for now. five miles. She was exhausted. Oh, oh this is an outrage. Ready. Company, ready, halt. And they came to a halt. Along came the wizard. Ah, yes. Uh, those are only for people who are uh, <laughs> too bossy. Real funny, Conehead. Make them go away right now. She said angrily and stamped her foot. Well, at least she tried to stamp her foot, but the boots wouldn't stamp. We're out of stamps. We're right out of stamps. <laughs> yep, we sure are out of stamps. You will do as I say. Stop marching around. Ready when you are. I'm ready. Quick march. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. 
For 10 more miles they marched, Miss Bossy. 10 miles! Then they marched back to the wizard. Make these stupid boots stop walking! <laughs> yes, only if you say the magic word. <laughs> Miss Bossy thought, and thought, and thought again. Please. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, that's better. And he said the wizardly word again under and his breath from page 304. The boots disappeared as if by magic. Now then, stop being bossy or you know what will happen to you, don't you? Miss Bossy was just about to say something, <laughs> bossy no doubt, when she stopped, <laughs> looked down at her feet, and then she finally nodded. There now, uh, 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 you remember what I said? And he disappeared. And do you know something? From that moment on, little Miss Bossy was a changed person. She wasn't bossy at all anymore. And you know why, don't you? Do you know what she's afraid of? Little Miss Bossy is afraid of bossy boots. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 right,